Tuesday Storm Team Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun. Well, all that heavy rain yesterday, yeah, some spots I had some reports from some viewers over two inches of rain in just a short amount of time. A lot of lightning, too. Well, you could really feel it yesterday afternoon. All that mugginess, humidity was real high. Those dew points up there, 70. Well, that's changed a little bit. Although, yeah, it's still summertime, warmth and humidity out there. We don't have as many thunderstorms. We had those pop up clouds, though, coming through. And there's a little disturbance coming by. You see kind of a little arc of showers up from State College back toward Clearfield County and off to the west. A few of these could stray down toward the Harrisburg area. I doubt they make it south of the turnpike. Not out of the question. As we go through the evening, as soon as the sun starts setting, they should start to die right off. You can see nothing really over most of the valley. We're pretty dry. Here's that little line coming down toward Juniata County and then heads up toward Clearfield County. Isolated stuff, isolated stuff out toward uh, western Perry County. But again, I think most of us will stay dry through the evening. Here are the numbers 84 in Lebanon and New York, 85 in Carlisle, and Chambersburg at 84 degrees. Had a little shower go through State College, dropped them to 77 now. But everybody generally in the mid 80s, Coatesville, the exception at 82 degrees. Here's a live look. From our Lebanon Sky Camp, just a few of those puffy cumulus clouds, no big deal. They're really not those big, big, thundering, uh, towering thunderheads out there this evening. But for the evening hours, here's the News 8 Storm Team forecast, which will be pretty warm, just an isolated shower. And again, mainly north and west of Harrisburg. We'll fall out of the 80s into the mid 70s as the sun sets, and then into the 60s overnight tonight. A mild night, about where it should be this time of the year, but not quite as muggy as it's been. And tomorrow won't be real humid. It'll be a warm day, low to mid 80s, just an isolated shower, a slim possibility late in the day. We'll mention that most of us stay sunny, though, and a pretty good day. Here's the predictor 80 degree weather. You see that little line of showers kind of drifting south, but as they do, they die off. And then overnight tonight, we drop into the 60s. Now, I want to call your attention to some clouds coming in off the ocean. We get in a little bit of a southeasterly flow tomorrow. And that keeps the humidity down a little bit, but it also, again, could pop up that thunder shower. Today, I'm saying northwest. Tomorrow, probably east, more likely as we head over toward Berks County, maybe Lebanon in the Chester County. Most of us, again, though, I, I think stay on the dry side. So it looks pretty good heading into the weekend. Pollen count will be moderate tomorrow, low on the mole spores. Air quality will be moderate. And the UV index tomorrow up there at 8, about 20 minutes for burn time. So keep the sunblock on. You want a hat on on days like that, too, especially a hat with a visor. My eye doctor, she always told me about that. Keep the uh, visor on. 84 degrees tomorrow. Again, I'll mention that afternoon thunder shower. More comfortable on Saturday. So it looks pretty good through the weekend. If Sunday gets warm and humid, I'll mention a late day thunderstorm. Most of the day is again dry. But then as we get into the next week, we're back into the. Uh, Probably three H's, a little hazy, a little hotter, and more humid. Could be some days up near 90, and yeah, maybe some thunderstorms around each day, especially in the afternoon. Best bet looks to me like it comes Tuesday into Wednesday, and then again late in the week. Our kids' art this evening that comes from Isaac, Isaac Wagner from Hanover, the Park Hills Elementary School. There is a first grader. Nice looking picture there. Looks like a few rain clouds. Trying to uh, portray that in the, the blue there. Joe Ann Hall from York. You are the Weather Watcher umbrella winner. Congratulations to you from WGAL and Whitaker Center. 